Hello vlog. I am in the city today because I was having coffee with a friend I haven't seen since 2008 or 2009. I can't believe she was in town and I live here so <laughs> at the same time so we got together we talked a lot. It was super 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 nice. I really enjoyed myself. So I am late today. I'm late on the vlog and I'm just gonna be late and I'm so sorry for those of you who are expecting the three o'clock upload. I'm not gonna be able to make that time but I'm in the park again, the uh, public garden again so I'll show you what's outside. I'm sorry there's so many like sirens. I don't know what's going on. Degrees and sunny, just the way I always wanted. Told by the god, the upside. meal and um, I had gotten some water. I only had like matcha and coffee today so I wanted to get my like real water in without caffeine in it and sit and say that the video that you're watching now is probably up late. Um, normally I like to have it everything up by three o'clock but things just fell apart this morning but and I, I actually didn't have I usually have the video ready the night before or the, at least the morning of but I did not really do anything yesterday I kind of rested after I exercised and which was really fun by the way I had so much fun in the workout yesterday for like the first time um, who am I enjoying a workout but I so this morning I agreed to meet a uh, a friend, a colleague who we met, I hope they don't mind me talking about them, we met at Vancouver Early Music Festival, which is a, like an intensive vocal program for singers who specialize in Baroque repertoire, one or specialize in Baroque repertoire. It was a two-week program out in Vancouver, Canada at the, the University of Vancouver. It's a really beautiful campus, and we were there for, in like 2003, 10 maybe 2008 I don't know and she, uh, and uh, she was in town for a conference and we got together for the first time since then and have a long chat in the public garden which was so so incredibly lovely um, and it just kind of got me thinking about things that we think about ourselves either as artists or, you know, doing whatever work we're doing as mothers, daughters, friends, wives, um, colleagues, whatever, and how you see yourself and how, even though we're all very, like, s centric, like, us-centric, like, we live in our own little bubble, and it's sometimes important to remember that the way that you see yourself and all of your issues with like your self-image and I've been talking about that very freely on my channel, on this channel, that that's not just you. <laughs> and I've, I've had a few conversations with fellow friends who, it's fellow friends, I've, I've had a few conversations with friends who are singers, so fellow singer friends, and some of them have some of the same difficulties with self-image, being included in whatever work environment we are part of, feeling like we're one of them, um, or feeling worthy, things like that. And even though we all have very unique experiences, there is a lot of similarity in the struggles that we all go through. And I feel like it's really important every once in a while not to do it, I don't think to do it on a regular is maybe that healthy, but I think 
every once in a while to get together with someone who is going through or doing something that is very similar to what you're doing, if not the same, and sort of compare notes um, and either get the feeling that, yes, I am also going through that or I'm so sorry that you're going through that and here's how I can offer you some support or feelings of solidarity or to get or give support to whoever needs it um, or if you need it to get support. I think that that is a really important part of life that I didn't really realize until later in life and I think part of that comes from being an only child having to sort of be my own therapist in a way like I, there are so many things that I do innately without thinking about it that don't make sense to other people who didn't have the same sort of solitary childhood experience like when I had an issue and I couldn't talk to a friend I just talked to my journal or I talked to my stuffed animal or I thought it out with myself. I kind of worked it out in my head. And I don't think all only children are so in, independent, but I think a lot of us are. And I was raised also to be like that. I I mean, it was, I had two things. It was innately part of my personality. And then my parents really were making sure that I, I was a, I, I maintained a sense of self and independence. And so in that you, you develop couple of maladaptive maladaptive behaviors where you don't talk to other people about what you're going through and sometimes you can get in your own wind chamber wind chamber echo chamber you know what I mean of like either negative thoughts or positive thoughts so sometimes I find it really beneficial to get out of my own echo chamber and just get feedback from from others that are either going through the same thing or have gone through the same thing and so I feel like in this video which I'm chatting to you about I think I mainly wanted to say um, thank you above anything else any other message that I want to get across in this video is I wanted to say I am grateful and thank you um, for your comments, for watching, for being interested, for offering advice when I ask for um, listening to my ramblings and like anything that you do to um, make me feel that I'm not either crazy or that I'm being entertaining for you in some way. I want to say thank you so much. I am um of course i am i live my life as somebody who who is a performer like as a profession but um and the main channel is a place where i like to offer my very practical advice leave a little bit of my personality onto the screen and hopefully want to help people. I mainly want to help people um, and inspire on the other channel. But I, I did need a place where like just the rest of it was going to go. And um, because there was a lot more that I wanted to get out that wasn't that content. And as a creator on YouTube, I have to follow what the analytics say. And whenever I would post something personal on the channel, um, I mean, if it was like intensely personal, but like exciting, like if I was moving, those videos performed well, of course, but if it was like vlogmas, um, it was, it was, it, it would actually, that it was, it was kill the channel health. So I just needed a place to put all of that stuff. And I want to know, I, I want to let you know how much I appreciate the feedback and the your support that I've gotten over on this channel. And it is just so fun to post here. And I've enjoyed Vlogtober so very much. Um, even if I'm like totally behind and 
I'm going to be totally honest. I don't think there'll be an upload up on the channel tomorrow because tomorrow I have um, a very full day, which I will document, but it just won't be up until Sunday. So I'll be actually two videos behind, but I think uh, it will be fine. And I think I'll finish Vlogtober technically because I will be vlogging on Saturday, but um, I just may not have the video up on Saturday, but I I think that is the main point I wanted to make. And I didn't plan on today's vlog just to be like a rambly kind of video, but I think that it is. And I'm going to leave it here. I am looking for the air quality outside, by the way, in Boston today is absolutely abysmal. It says poor. And I have been, and I think that's been for the last couple of days, I have been coughing, just isolated coughing. And the the paranoia that, that I am like sick is very high. But so far nothing has happened. I've just been coughing and kind of feeling like Ugh. So <laughs> I hope that your quality improves because tomorrow we've got um, church and then I've got cantata singers in the afternoon. But it's going to be daytime tomorrow then I'm gonna be downtown so it should be a good vlog maybe we'll do a little shopping I mean I'm not a shopaholic but like I want to do a little shopping they've got some really beautiful holiday things at anthropology I'm hoping I can get some before they're sold out like little tree ornaments we'll see um, I'll, I'll go on the website and see I'll pick out some things maybe I want to see if they have at the Newberry Street store because that's where I'm gonna be and if I'm gonna be down there I may as well check it out. But that is all. That is all I wanted to say. So I'm actually going to edit this. I'm going to practice. Me and Tonic are going to have a date. We're going to do a little bit of practicing. I really am. I'm, I think I can only, we'll see. I'll do like 30 minutes. I think it's going to be enough. I definitely have to practice for tomorrow morning. Um, just that personal piece, make sure I'm solid on notes and, um, you know, do my vocal exercises, make sure I'm staying somewhat okay. There is a, a whole thing. I just, I did really a couple days ago when I reflected on how I was recommitting to art. I, I think mainly I was recommitting to the idea of maintaining vocal fitness for focal fitness and I've been thinking a lot about physical fitness for the last few months actually for the last year um, and at age 46 I think that maintaining physical fitness and um, balance I think there's a different word for that and strength training and making sure that I prioritize those things is very important to me now because all I can see, and again, I might talk about this in an isolated video, all I can see, because I watched my father slow decline, all I can see is me at, in 30 years, or even 20 years, and I want to be able to do some of the things that I do now. And if, if that really matters to me, I, I have to take care of myself now. And, um, which was the reason for the heavier weights, which are now in the closet. So I think it's really important that I prioritize my physical fitness now so that I am, um, able to take care of myself when I'm 90. And I am, I have decided that I am living to a hundred. You're going to say, I'm going to be old and I want to be able to like make an egg when I'm like 95. So we got to get the gains now as much as it's like so annoying. But you know what? Actually, to, to be completely honest with you, I'm starting to enjoy the workouts. I'm starting to like really have fun. Yesterday I was sweating. I was like, you know what, though? I'm actually having a lot of fun. So I my goal is to get like more toned, more toned in the arms, especially because I just want I just want to look like hot in the arms. Um, Right now, I think they're a little scrawny, but I think if I can get like some nice, 
tone are. I imagine like, oh my gosh, listen, this is me. Okay, this is, these are goals. This is, go with me on this. It's a little shallow, but go with me. Okay. We we maintain the vocal fitness. We get a little bit better actually. We get like we we start singing. Chef's kiss. We start technique starts if it starts lining up. And we like start to get opportunities. Imagine an opportunity where we have to we, we pick out a gown to wear. Like if there's a solo opportunity in front of an orchestra and beautiful, we're like off the shoulder, like little sleeves and then like sexy arms holding the music. These are shallow aspirations, but like I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing this is my motivation to keep lift get, get the gains get the gains you know what i mean let's not be afraid it's okay to want to it's okay to want to bring sexy back clover do you have anything to say no you got nothing okay then except for looking cute oh my god you need you need a paw trim like so bad. I'm gonna do that maybe later. You have so much air on your paws. So that's the ramble. I'm gonna go. Thanks. I love you all. And I'll see you Sunday. Maybe. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'll skip tomorrow. Not that I don't want to, but not that I want to, but like, I just, I'm being real. You hang up. Uh, you, you hang up.